our God and our Father, God of love, God of mercy, the creator of the heavens and the earth and everything that belongs in the heavens and everything that belongs to the earth. Our God and our Father, we are here to recognize you as the supreme, the, the sovereign master, the supreme ruler, the one who has taken good care of everyone's life. Father, we want to thank you for giving us this day. We thank you, Father God, for the gift of life that many have not seen this day. Those who may have been there yesterday have not seen it. It is not because we are clever, Father God, but because we know that you are the one with the calendar of our life on earth. And therefore, ours is to say thank you even for the life of those that have departed from this planet. Earth. And Father God, may we lead to your glory. May we do your will. In whatever we say, in whatever we do, wherever we are, Father, may we glorify your name. We thank you, Father God, once again for this day. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to meet in this manner. My God and my Father, you knew that we were going to meet on this occasion. Father, we give glory to the footballers and allied workers union of Zambia executive that sent us uh, a letter requesting to meritoriously honor the president and myself for the work that they have seen we have done in the sporting fraternity. We thank you, Father God, even for many others that have come to witness this occasion. Father, we pray that you may touch each and every soul that is here. Bless us, Father God, as we recognize you in all the events in the sporting fraternity, Father God. May we excel in all our sporting activities in Zambia. Thank you for the people that are recognizing those that have done well in this area. Thank you, Father God, for the media. We thank you, Father God, for everyone that is listening out there. It's in Jesus' name that we pray, leaving everything else in the hands of God Almighty to bless our country, Zambia, and indeed all the people of Zambia. We praise you, we honor you, with thanksgiving in our hearts. Amen. 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 Thank you, Mama, for that powerful prayer. For those of you that were attentively listening to the prayer, this is a special occasion where the footballers, allied workers of the Union of Zambia, are honoring the former president of the Republic of Zambia, Dr. Edgar Chagalungu, meritoriously for the works that he did in the seven years that he served as president. So that is why we are all gathered here. May I take the point to ask the President and the uh, former First Lady and the colleagues to please take a seat. At this point in time, I will, I will call upon the sixth President of the Republic of Zambia, Dr. Edgar Chagalungu, to come and give his welcome remarks. Your Excellency, sir. Please welcome me. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Some of you are Those of you who haven't met, good morning and welcome. Good morning. Okay. Without wasting much of your time again, I will still invite His Excellency the President to come and make his formal speech. <laughs> What speech do you want me to make? You see, yesterday. Sorry, I'm sorry, I don't know. I said, you change over. Yeah, boy, you're right. You see, it's provoking me to talk. And when I talk, they say policy. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, at this point in time, I'll call upon Mr. Linus Chalwe, representative of Paus, to make uh, a few remarks and make a formal presentation. I think, I think this film should be fine.
His Excellency, the Sixth Republican President of Zambia, uh, the former First Lady, uh, Mr. Lungu, um, my colleagues that I've come with, media uh, members of the press, and everyone gathered. It is a, a humble honor to be part of this occasion. Um, we've come here with my colleagues, and I need to point out, uh, first of all, that this is something that was long overdue. Um, the honor that we want to bestow or to give His Excellency is what is called the Merit Award. The first person or the last person that was honored by the, uh, by, by FAUS, in short, of Footballers and the Light Workers Union of Zambia was Kalusha Wadia for his services to football. Um, not only in his capacity as a uh, former president of FAS, but also as a footballer. So, in 2019, we came up with, a, um, with an award, or we came up with an idea to honor uh, the former Republican president for his service. Uh, to Zambian football and especially uh, football players. Um, for those that do not know, um, some of uh, the service that His Excellency has done for football uh, is immense. And I would like to, to bring to, to your attention one, uh, one, of the, you know, one of the services that has stuck uh, with us, myself personally, is um, his work. Um, his pro bono work, for those that can remember, um, His Excellency did pro bono for the Gabon disaster, uh, you know, victims, and managed to help the families to get or receive, you know, some monies to, to look after, you know, their families. Uh, we lost an entire team in 1993, and the passion that His Excellency has always had for football and sport in general, but you know, for the welfare of of players, is eminent from the service that is done. Not only uh, from that, but I I just wanted to point out that uh, you know uh, that far to just take you back to you know so that people are aware that it is not only um, yesterday because of Chipolo Polo or the Copa Queens. No, it is service to football uh, for for I mean, from decades ago. You know, he's been a servant of Zambian football and he's been a father to football for many decades. I would like also to point out that um, this award that we bring to, to His Excellency and Mom here, uh, uh, we've, been, uh, we've brought them. Um, the reason why you're not seeing the entire executive of FAUS is because um, this was done, we did this in 2019 while I was serving as General Secretary for the Footballers and Allied Workers Union of Zambia. But at the moment, I am a um, former GS. I stepped down last year to try and pursue other avenues within football. So that is the reason uh, why I thought you know, I should mention, to say this is the reason why you're not seeing the entire executive. But being the founder, uh, I thought it only wise because these, uh, uh, these significance and you know, these small gifts have been sitting idle for the past three, three, three and a half years, and I thought it only wise to say, look, before you know um, they get damaged, or we don't want to honor people. There's a tra there's a trend, uh, not only in Africa but across the, the globe, of honoring people when they're late. And we thought it wise to say, no, um, we need to honor the president uh, and mom while they are still alive. And I took that initiative uh, with uh, you know, my colleagues here to say, look, uh, let us go and see Mom, and let us go and see His Excellency and present these things. So I would like to point that out. Um, I can't say much. I think uh, the rest is to, to, to pass on the little gifts that we, we brought for, for Mom and His Excellency uh, from, from ourselves, from the football. It shouldn't only be from the, from the footballers and the light because you're concerned. It should be from the football fraternity and that is how it came. Uh, that is how we came. We came as you know, passionate uh, from the football fraternity, pas passionate supporters of football, and passionate supporters of the welfare of of athletes.
So with those few remarks, thank you so much. Just ask his excellency and ma'am to please stand and uh, Mr. Charlie, please. After that presentation, it is only right that I call upon the President, Sixth President of the Republic of Zambia, Dr. Edgar Tagwalungu, to give his acceptance uh, speech. Yes, I say. Yeah. I learned about this thing yesterday, Padanchi, and uh, I tried to be as formal as I could be. So in the night I was doing a speech, accepting a great honor. But the speech is uh, it's very difficult to speak about passionate things like football, because football brings all of us together. So uh, I've already spoken to you guys inside. And uh, may I simply say welcome. Uh, all protocol, all protocols observed. And once more, to you, sir, and your team, most welcome colleagues from the sporting fraternity, particularly the soccer fans, and those who jog with me on Saturday morning. I say you are most welcome. The media too, you are most welcome. We are without you. I mean, other issue cannot be because so we thank the media. Even when you say things which are hurting to us, the media, the media is good because if we talk about you, whether they talk bad or good things, at least why should take one. So you're welcome, guys. Uh, on behalf of my dear wife, uh, the former first lady, she's actually the sixth first lady for her former because <laughs> she's the sixth first lady. It will help us if you go her the sixth first lady. And for me, the sixth is the president. It makes sense that you distinguish us from those. Yeah. And I wish you great humility to just say I'm very grateful to Mr. Chalwe, his team, and the, everyone else who is uh, behind the idea of recognizing us. And uh, your Resilience to just say, in fact, I've yet to come to pay the personal. It's, it's humbling because sometimes it's very good. It's more more system. We are useless. But the other issue, our issue, I'm not going to be great. Karu is great. I know some people want to put him down, but his works in football are known, legendary. So, much that we don't say, at least we don't push up, but we know. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, like I said, I'm informed that this is the highest honor of recognition your union can confer on an individual. And the, uh, I'm humbled because little did I know that I was contributing in a great way. I've always loved being with people, but football brings me with more people than, than ever. Uh, me and my wife are truly humbled by your recognition of our modest contribution to this much loved football and the development of football in our country. Of course, along with it, the welfare of the footballer. The welfare of the footballer. And in greeting you, I say, here I am, a tenant to a footballer. It shows that uh, football can give you a livelihood. Football, to a pakama football, to a kosa to win win. All those people playing football, in Zambia, in Africa, in Europe, are recognized because they are backed by people like you who give them the courage to play football and also give them the right thoughts so that they are able to use the money that they get in investments like this. You know, we have tragic cases where footballers are miserable, they've been lost along the way because they've not been guided properly. But with your union, things have changed. A lot of people are doing very well, and I think we should thank you for that. The game of football brings us together, regardless. You saw yesterday, Toilette and Baba Zambia. Yeah? We were very excited. 
So this I'm saying so because we don't have politics to take us. No politics to take us. No, but football is not taking us. Hmm. But once the UK, UK, whatever, when there is football, once we learn football, that's why I'm just follow follow. That's very good. And the politics, the football, politics, the religion, I don't know, probably I may be wrong. Ranking, eh? Football number one, politics, religion. No, religion number one, politics, it's up to how you see them. But I think uh, football is indeed a great activity. Let us encourage each other. Uh, your admirable gesture is timely, coming just five days after, just five days long, five days away from uh, 20, uh, you see, 20 August, 20, 20, 20 July, 20 August, we are having in the Women's World Cup. World Cup. And this is a very important uh, event. Uh, World Cup. It's something we should be proud of, you see. So, Copa Queens will make their maiden appearance in this prestigious global competition for the very first time. They will play Japan. But what you go keep. Okay, <laughs> but they've made us proud. So as a country, we are so proud of these Copper Queens, and I think they've <coughs> meritoriously achieved their level, and let's give them support uh, for the very first time. Yeah? For the very first time! Yeah. 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 And uh, it's not only the girls going to... Uh -huh. The World Cup, the yes. beat Germany. Yeah? You saw that, yeah? Ah, no. yeah? Forget about the poor officiating. But what do you win? So, I think uh, for the very first time in the country's history, we are a very proud nation on account of the achievement of footballers, particularly the women. And uh, I would like to dedicate this award and recognition to the Copa Queens. And in dedicating this award, I would urge Zambia to cheer them all the way through, all the way through to the end of the tournament. And I know they can make, make it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying they can make it. Why? They beat Germany. But Germany never number two <coughs> yeah, in the world. In the whole world, the global village. So if we can beat number two, we can beat number one. Yeah. Yeah. So I think he, uh, they will pull a lot of chapters in the small girls. Believe you me. Especially if we watch them and we support them. And they know that we are watching them. And these days of social media and instantaneous communication, I'm sure you'll be sending messages via social media. Say, woman, 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 Barbara Banda, Kinko Man. So they go back you last night while it's number was Sunday. Why it's number of South Africa. Let me congratulate the Chipolo Polo boys for qualifying for the twenty twenty three Hollywood bets for South Africa final in South Africa. It's not easy to beat South Africa and South Africa. Uh -huh. But they did it. They were down to one zero at one time and they came from behind and that shows the spirit you typical of Zambian footballers, typical of the Zambian person. Never say die. So, what is our son? Uh, we have no doubt that our boys will bring back the trophy home after conquering the soccer tomorrow. We saw it for ourselves. So, uh, this will be the seventh time. Eh? Seven? I don't know, I'm not too sure. But uh, they will lift it. Whether it's the seventh, sixth, or eighth, they will lift it. And uh, anyway, let me not bore you. Let me just conclude by saying. Uh, I wish the footballers and allied workers, gentlemen, all the best as we continue to pursue the noble objective of looking into the welfare of footballers and uh, indeed in the industry of football. Uh, I can only age all well meaning Zambians, particularly the corporate citizens, yeah, the corporate citizens who support your efforts in whichever way possible, in my own way. I will support you by encouraging you with brilliant ideas. The investment most people have done is building houses like this one here. 
uh, it's just beautiful. They come from you, coaching them. Like uh, the unions in other industries, they tell their workers, when you stop being a miner, you don't want to be destitute. So you, your members, should be told that watching the Vaisal Pisha Gola, Patron Daka, Vaisal Pisha Gola, Sambalungu and all those other boys, should also be a landlord, an entrepreneur, and so on. So I can only thank you guys. And we, yeah. And, and, and we ask that the, may the good Lord Almighty continue blessing you and guiding you. And for a politician, you can have the opportunity to have a Thank you very much. Good blessing. A big one once again to just thank you for that. At this point in time, I'll, I'll ask uh, the sixth president of the Republic of Zambia and the sixth first lady to position themselves and take uh, have a consultation mm -hmm. session with, yeah. uh, with the board of uh, of Pauls. Thank <laughs> you.